Jason, were you clapping your hands in frustration that you got the foul and out of position, or were you upset at the official? <laughs> I, uh, I think I just missed the layup and I just committed a foul. You know, so I was like, <clears throat> anybody in the arena, anybody watching the game could have seen that, you know, I was frustrated with myself. Uh, I didn't say anything. I didn't look at him. So, it, you know, after the game, you can just laugh it off when you see it. Um, on a night where you're not hitting shots and not as consistent, you were saying you were doing little things, then the defense stepped up. Is this a game you, you might have lost last season, early last season, when you <clears throat> kind of punched you in the mouth first? Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of what we talked about after the game. Uh, you know, it wasn't pretty. And, you know, OKC might not have the best record, but, you know, that's a talented offensive team. You know, they play with a lot of pace. Uh, you know, guys know their role. So, you know, on a given night, they can, you know, beat anybody. And I think it was just good for us to face some adversity um, and figure it out. You know, everybody contributed, D. White um, and Peyton off the bench, giving that spark, you know, end of the third, beginning of the fourth. Um, that really, you know, uh, willed us to that comeback. Um, so I was extremely proud of the way that we responded, the way that we um, competed and figured it out. You know, it wasn't pretty. Obviously, some things we wish we could have done better, but you know, that's a talented team, um, and that's a good win. Uh, Jason, there's a strong narrative locally and nationally about you for MVP this year. Early in the season, obviously, what does it do for you when you go to the free throw line? You hear it from the fans here. I read an interview you gave in Detroit that it's important to you. Could you uh, amplify those those statements? Uh, I mean, it's, it's always been a dream of mine, um, and it's you know, it's like an honor to even be mentioned or thought of. You know, the idea of me winning MVP, uh, but that was that you know, was not like a goal of mine coming into the season. Uh, you know, I wanted to play at an MVP level, um, meaning that playing great basketball, uh, being efficient, and being on one of the best teams. And, uh, you know, my goal, and I've said it all summer, preseason, was to get back to get back to the finals and, and not have that feeling again. Um, so, you know, along the way, you know, if we win enough games and I play well enough and, you know, I'm, uh, able to win that, you know, obviously that's a dream come true. But, you know, for me, um, you know, I didn't I didn't say at one time this summer I wanted to win MVP. You know, I just more so want to play at that level yeah. and, you know, affect the game on both ends, night in and night out, and, um, you know, do what I can to, to help us win games. Thank you. Jason, to that end, playing at the MVP level, when you're when you're not shooting it well, that w what do you do to to play at that MVP <clears throat> level and do other things? Uh, still impact the game, still rebound, uh, try to you know get deflections, get steals, get blocks, you know, um, set guys up, you know, set screens, get into the lane, find somebody that's open. Still have my imprint on the game, um, and ultimately just find a way to win. You know, that's that's what's most important. Uh, you know, we're playing extremely well right now, and we're trying to keep it up. So, uh, you know, at the end of the night, look up and we won. You know, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. Peyton and Derek, late third quarter, they started pressing and turning them over, and the Thunder turned it over like 12 times in that span. So how did that change things for you guys? Uh, they were just, you know, they were really comfortable, I think, in the first three quarters. Uh, and I think that's what led to our comeback was picking up our intensity. You know, beginning of the game, we were picking guys up three-point line, underneath the three-point line. And, at, you know, at one point, we started picking up full court, turning them, turning them multiple times as they drill up the court, uh, weak side steals and things like that. So I think in that fourth quarter, we made them a little bit uncomfortable. Um, just by you know being physical and picking up the pressure, um, and it led to easy baskets, um, giving stops, and um, you know once we start seeing the ball go in the basket, we start to feel you know better about ourselves. 
And uh, you, you've been really good in transition this year. Would you guys, like, when there, whenever there's a turnover, you seem to leak out immediately and start sprinting. Uh, it's probably exhausting doing that throughout the night, but how much does just being able to score in that kind of way feel you throughout the game? Uh, easy buckets. Um, that's part of, um, I guess, like the evolution of being a better scorer, getting to the free throw line. Um, obviously, always being a focal point of the other team's defense, um, drawing a lot of attention. And there's going to be times where, you know, late shot clock, end of the game, you got to take and make tough shots. Uh, but throughout the flow of the game, you know, uh, corner three-point shots, um, offensive rebounds, tip-ins, you know, two fast break points, buckets, um, you know, those things add up and, you know, it gets you in a, in a rhythm uh, for later in the game. I'm sorry, I wasn't there in Detroit to ask you this, but do you feel comfortable throwing Grant Williams alley-oops now? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I know I said I would never, but, you know, everybody in this room has said something and backtracked before. Uh, you know, everybody changed their mind. and uh, You know, I trust Grant a lot more. You know, every day he uh, – it's like a building block. You know, he has a, he has a stone of trust to that wall. Uh, so, you know, we're getting there. Thank you.